Welcome back to 3 Talk. Today we are discussing holiday safety. Awareness of your surroundings is the first step to preventing attacks. According to self-defense instructor Warren Ho from Defense Unlimited, he recently showed me a few steps that I could use if I were in an unfortunate situation of a mugging or rape. Warren, welcome to 3 Talk and thank you so much for inviting us into your studio. You're welcome. So today you're going to give us just a few guidelines uh, on how to protect ourselves if we're confronted by a thug or a thief. Yes, that's what we'll be doing today. So uh, we'll be talking a lot about uh, the, prim the principles of self-defense, which is awareness, avoidance and lastly survival. Uh, we'll go through each of those stages and definitely if you want to elaborate a bit more on them, please cue me. I certainly will. Yeah. So the premise of self-defense is to be able to do it yourself. Okay. Uh, whether it's using something physical like your arms and your, your hands or your yeah. legs or something vocal like using your voice. Okay. So that is just as an effective self-defense technique as well, using your voice. So, so if you come, the first thing that I should do is scream. Yes, well, you should scream, but if you feel threatened, and this is, everybody has a different degree of tolerance. If you feel that if someone is threatening you, or if you feel it's inevitable, by all means, raise your hands and say as loud as you can, stop. Stop! And Don't come near me. There you go. Okay, so what we're going to teach you learning is very basically two techniques. Number one is putting your hands up what's known as a fence technique. Okay. This thing shows, both, one, one, that you are unarmed and that you don't mean any harm but at the same time you're creating a barrier between okay. this person and you. So and what you. I'm doing is now stop, don't come near me. Correct. Okay. So you've created two barriers. One is this verbal barrier right. and secondly is this physical barrier that he can see. He's standing there, he wants something from me, mm -hmm. I say stop, don't come near me. Correct. If he still proceeds to come, you're going to do what's known as a slap. Push him, shove him back first, yes. Don't come near me. Right, hands okay. still up. And the slap, very basically going towards his jawline from his cheek to his shoulder. 45 degree angle. Boom. Oh, yes. Okay. Typically, though, this is the question where you ask yourself, is it worthwhile for me fighting for? There's only three questions you need to ask yourself. Is it worth fighting for? Yeah. Is it worth dying for? Is it worth killing for? Okay. All right. If it's something that you fighting, dying, or killing for, then yes. yes, that is when you'd execute this with full force. So I'm doing this, the, the instinct that I had was to kick him in the groin. Guys throughout the world, and we all learn this from a very early age, is this is the most sensitive area in the body. So anyone trying to kick here will definitely know how to protect it. Okay. So your chances of getting someone clean on the groin is very slim. I would rather okay. go and kick for a lower part of the body, and it's just between the, the knee and the ankle bone, about three quarters down. Yeah just where the calf muscle tapers. I would rather okay. kick on the inside there. So, so then I've done this and then kick him here? Yes, or as you want to do instinctively, kick him first. His natural reaction is body okay. will buckle and presents himself with a slap. Okay. Correct. Your next step would be then to get out of there. Now, the bag situation. So right. I've got my bag and I am coming out of a supermarket and I've mm -hmm. got my bag over my shoulder. Yes. Typically, they will come from behind trying to distract me. Let's, let's play that one out. Okay. Okay, so if you're fast enough to react, by all means, react. You would hit most vulnerable points, anything okay. that's lying in the face, in the center line, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your throat, yeah. your solar plexus, your, glo your groin, yeah. or anything on the inside of the body, your armpits, or down the inside of the legs. Okay. Any, any of those points are definitely viable to hit if you're able to react fast enough. But like right. you said though, if they're so quick that they're running away, is it worth tugging this thing? If you know that you've got your life in there, then by all means, fight for it. Yeah. Be wary though of what's happening around you. Okay. And again, ask that question, is it worthwhile fighting for? The, the instinct that I had once you came to get my bag yes. was to grab it to the front. Grab it to, to the front. Okay. Because then I'm thinking, okay, what I will do is that I will grab it to the front mm -hmm. and I will scream like mad. Okay, there are two things that you need to be wary of. One is the element of surprise that you really lost. Yes. The second thing is you don't know what he has in his hand. Could be a knife, a gun. If the way that you've done that now, so as you've done that, so do it, all right? And someone pulls out a knife, for instance, okay? Exactly. <laughs> so you typically need to be 100% sure that you Jeez, want... That knife, where did you get that out? Sorry, that was hidden away. Okay, so besides but, the point... But that would have, that in a real situation yes. would happen. Absolutely. Okay. And remember that the, the knives and having a multiple opponents are there to do one thing alone. 
intimidate you. Okay. The second thing is to harm you. Right. So you need to be deadly sure that your bag is worth fighting, dying, or killing for. Done. All right, let's okay. leave the bag. Now, if, if you are, again, walking, let's say you're walking alone from mm -hmm. the beach, you're going to your bungalow, you're confronted by a guy, yes. and you you know that he's either going to rape you, he's going to mug you, he's going to, so you are terrified. Yes. You're thinking of all these things, okay. so this menacing guy comes towards you, what do you do? Okay, so before he even throws you to the floor, you should have had your fence, you should have tried to slap in. Yeah. Kick. Once you're on the floor, you are in survival mode. It's okay. the worst place to be. Right. Purely for the fact that he could overpower you, he might be bigger than you, he might have one or two friends. He might have got you on the ground and started kicking at you, you might yeah. be injured. So there it becomes very important that with some training, whether it's endurance or fitness, is that you just carry on and you literally have to fight for your life. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna ask uh, Rolf to pin me down onto the ground. Okay. And this is a typical situation. So Rolf is pinning my, he's straddled me, he's got me down and he's yeah. pinning his hands oh, down yes. on the ground like that. Okay. If he's trying to rape me, what is the first thing he has to do? Remove his pants. That is your opportunity to take, all right? You don't just stand there, help, help, help. If you miss the opportunity, this is a very crucial point where it allows you to get into the person. Okay. All right, okay. one, going for the throat jabs, going for the eye gouges, grabbing something that you could hook onto, anything that just to get off of him, okay? okay. But then hopefully he'll realize that, you know what? Putting you is probably not the best thing. You need to also try to wiggle out of these situations. Yeah. Get him off of you. That's probably your biggest thing at the moment. Okay. So once you've got him down, Okay, down, see the groin, smack him the groin, and get out of there. Okay. Okay, so very important though, you don't want to be on the ground, but when you, once you do, the same survival techniques will apply. The slap that we did, the thrusts, and throat jabs that we okay. just done. But definitely go into a crowded area and try to um, grab it to get the attention that something's happened. All right, Warren, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sunny. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Complicated holiday routes.